Hey guys, welcome back to Just Piddling Barbecue. Today we're going to do some burgers, uh, classic American burgers here on Memorial Day. But before we get to the cook, I want to say a quick word about Memorial Day. Um, anytime somebody comes up and says, hey, thank you for your service or something like that, you know, I always say thank you and it, it makes me feel good and I really appreciate it. But on Memorial Day, Memo I think a lot of people get Memorial Day and Veterans Day mixed up. And uh, today is a day of remembering people who made that ultimate sacrifice. As service members, we all sign a piece of paper saying that we'll willingly give our lives to defend this country against all enemies, foreign and domestic. But on Memorial Day, we're remembering the ones who actually did that. Um, and there's a big difference between signing a name saying that you'll do something and actually having to do it. And uh, so today, that's what I want today to be about. Um, being grateful for the ones who made the ultimate sacrifice for people who they don't even know. Um, and no words can really describe that gift. And so, if you will, no matter when you're watching this, whether it's on Memorial Day or a year from now, uh, Take 10 seconds out of your day and just think about that and realize there are people out there who are doing things today on your behalf. You have no idea who they are and they have no idea who you are, um, but they're doing it because they love this great country. And so uh, I thank you for listening to that and now let's get started with the cook. <laughs> Let's get started on these burgers. So what I've got here is about four pounds of ground chuck. I'm going to use some reload, fully loaded rub, Parmesan cheese. This is actually Parmesan and Romano cheese. I'm going to use some, uh, this morning I diced up some onions and peppers and made some uh, omelets for breakfast. And I had some onions and peppers left over, so I'm going to put those in as well. And I'm going to use some uh, Traeger uh, Line and Kugel Summer Shanty inspired uh, barbecue sauce. I'm going to put that in here as well. So let's get these mixed up, patted up, and then we'll get out to the grill. Alright guys, we're fixing to get started with this cook. I've got my charcoal insert in the Watchman stove. I'm going to do American burgers today. This is going to be as American as I can get today on Memorial Day. We're doing American cheeseburgers. Uh, kicked up a little bit with a few ingredients. And I couldn't think of a better way to cook these uh, American burgers on Memorial Day than on the Watchman stove on a grill that's made in the USA with American hands. Uh, with a great company, uh, Winchester Metals up in Winchester, Virginia. Um, awesome way to cook some burgers on Memorial Day. So that's what we're going to do. Go ahead and put our charcoal insert in. I 
I've got probably three quarters of a chimney in here. Let's light her up and get her started. I've got the bumper on the uh, grill grate just in case something tries to fall off. That's going to hold everything on. And we're going to get these burgers on. Now these burgers are fairly large. This is four and a half pounds of meat and I got 11 burgers. So you can do the math on that. But these are pretty big. Lay those on. Beautiful, you can smell the seasonings. And it's hotter than Hades out here. You can cut the air with a knife. All right, now let's give these a flip. See what they look like on the other side. Be nice and gentle with them. That one in the middle cooked a little bit faster, so I went ahead and flipped it. Those look good. Nice. Beautiful. Put a little bit of cheese on. Let that melt down. Of course, it's already starting to melt down, so am I. It's got to be probably, I don't know, 90. But the humidity has got to be 100%. Hmm. I need to find a way to make this watchman stove float and I can put it in the middle of the pool and cook on it like that. All right, round two. Alright, well now we've got rain, so we moved the canopy over because nothing can stop a guy that's cooking with the watch the stove. So rain, shine, wind, snow, doesn't matter. You can always cook with the watch the stove. We're improvising, adapting, and overcoming. Now it's literally two minutes from the last video of it raining, and now the sun has come out, it is shining. And you cannot, I need a respirator to breathe. It, it is unbearable now. So wait two more minutes and then we'll give you another weather update. All right, just one thing before I go. I used about three quarters of a chimney of uh, regular charcoal, Kings for Blue. And really for these burgers, I probably didn't need but maybe a quarter of a chimney, a little over a quarter of a chimney. Because the first ones that I cooked were just, they just cooked too fast on the outside and not enough on the inside. So these last ones, 
cook perfect. There's hardly nothing left of the charcoal on the inside now. I would say no more than half of a chimney to cook hamburgers and hot dogs on this thing. But still, it cooked like a champ. Couldn't ask for a better Memorial Day, except for it to be a little cooler. And now I'm fixing to take these things off because they're done. And I'm done. It's hotter than you know where. And until next time, I'll be piddling.